So can vitamins actually improve your erections? Well, today I'm gonna to talk about how folic acid has been studied and might have some benefit in improving erections. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. And if you're new here, I am a board certified urologist who makes videos on a number of different types of urologic conditions, including erectile dysfunction, which is the topic of this video today. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video because because it certainly helps people find my channel. Why folic acid? Isn't it what we supplement pregnant women? Why would men benefit from folic acid? Well, folic acid actually plays a role in the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is essentially the beginning of the erection cascade. So it's essentially like the ignition to your erection. And so there was recently a study that was published looking at multiple different studies and combining all the data on folic acid and erectile dysfunction. Before this came out, it was really unclear if folic acid had a benefit at all. Some studies said it did, some studies said it didn't. So let's look into the data and find out more. So for this study, they looked at a couple of different types of populations or patients that were recruited in the study. One was comparing the level of folic acid in the blood or the serum folic acid between patients who were either normal and healthy and had normal erections to those who had erectile dysfunction to see if there was a difference. And the other part of the studies that they looked at, they compared outcomes between men who took folic acid and those who didn't using a validated questionnaire. And what's a validated questionnaire? Well, it's actually a survey that's given to patients that's been studied in a diverse group of patients and has been validated to correlate with the severity of a condition. In basic terms is if somebody answers this questionnaire, you're gonna get a score and that score is gonna tell you how bad their erectile dysfunction is. And so when they looked at all the different studies on folic acid and erectile dysfunction, they came down to nine studies. Of those, six looked at serum folic acid levels in a number of healthy men and men with erectile dysfunction. They had a total of 982 men with erectile dysfunction and nearly 850 normal healthy men. And what they found when they looked at all the data combined was that those who had erectile dysfunction had a lower serum folic acid by 0.94 nanograms per milliliter. And that actually got significantly worse as their erectile dysfunction continued to get worse. In two studies, they compared the patient's erectile dysfunction before getting folic acid to after getting three months of daily folic acid. And in those studies, they used a 0.4 milligram dose or a 0.5 milligram dose of folic acid every single day. They had a total of about 140 patients and what they found was that they did have a significant decrease in their severity of erectile dysfunction. So for example, they found that people went from having severe erectile dysfunction to mild to moderate erectile erectile dysfunction. So there was a significant difference in the strength and quality of their erections. And the last study they looked at looked at specifically men with diabetes. They gave them Tadalafil, which is a medication that's commonly used for erectile dysfunction, often known as Cialis, and they gave them 10 milligrams every other day. They then divided these patients up into two groups. One group got five milligrams of folic acid every single day, and the other group got a placebo or a sugar pill. And five milligrams is actually a much higher dose than is often given to patients for folic acid, so that is one thing to be aware of. They chose diabetic men specifically because men with diabetes tend to do worse with medications for erectile dysfunction. They're less likely to get an erection that's sufficient for penetrative intercourse or hard enough to have sex with just pills alone. And so they wanted to see if adding folic acid would actually make a difference. And what did they find? They saw that men had a significantly higher increase in the quality of their erectile function score on this validated questionnaire that correlated with an improvement in erectile function compared to those who didn't get the folic acid. As I mentioned, this was a higher dose of folic acid, but they didn't have any dangerous side effects and no one in the state dropped out because of the dosage of folic acid. The side effects included a mild headache, some lower back pain, and some flushing. 
So what is the take home from this? Should you start taking folic acid for your erectile dysfunction? Well, the jury's still out. What is the right dose you should take and for how long and how long is the benefit going to last? So at this time, I can't say definitively, yes, go ahead and take folic acid supplements. If you decide that you want to try folic acid, please make sure to touch base with your primary care doctor because there are certain medications that you shouldn't take with folic acid, specifically certain types of seizure medications and a host of other medications as well. You can, however, consider taking foods that have higher levels of folate in them. That includes legumes, spinach, broccoli, lettuce, certain fruits like bananas and melons, orange juice and tomato juice, yeast, mushrooms, and certain meats like beef livers and kidney all are really high in folate. So if you like those foods, certainly add them into your diet and that may help. The biggest thing to help with erectile function is keep yourself healthy, have a healthy diet, make sure you're staying active and lose weight. Those sorts of things will absolutely help you keep your erections strong and ready to go when you need them. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.